Hey guys, Dave, Rolling Springs Ranch. It's been a minute, that's for sure. Things have been crazy, let's put it that way. Summertime, you got the garden wrapped up, um, expanded the chicken coop. We had a couple predators that were coming in, taking stuff. Uh, so we lock everybody up now at the end of the night. Um, milk cow, we got another cow that's fixing to, to drop any day. But really, why I started this video today was uh, to talk about a new project we got here. Um, it's not like I don't have enough projects, but this one, uh, this one caught my attention. It's a little rough around the edges, um, but I think it's going to be a good project overall. Um, let me turn the camera around. So basically what we got is a Ford CL40 skid steer uh, I believe it is late late 60s early 70s if I if I recall um, I'll have to do my homework on it again but there's not a whole lot of information but from what I can find out there's a lot of universal stuff that we can hopefully try to get this thing uh, going so the the 40 stands for 40 horsepower uh, this one does have the Ford engine compared to the CL30 and the CL20, which I believe uh, were a totally different engine. So this is a little rough around the edges. Um, I don't even know if it runs. I bought it sight on scene. Um, I just thought it was cool. So back here, when I eventually I paid for it and went to look at it, I noticed that the radiator was out. Uh, I have that in the back of my truck. But there's other things missing. Um, so basically, what I'm gonna do is try to get the engine running first before I move forward with anything as far as if I am gonna restore it, sandblast it, paint it, etc. So it's got some two new tires uh, overall. Um, it's probably gonna need some new rims and another set of tires for the rear, but again, that's just cosmetic stuff. The biggest thing is, is trying to get this thing uh, rolled over, started, and uh, once we know that's good, then we can continue moving forward. So I don't wanna put the, uh, the cart before the horse. So anyway, this is the Ford CL40, and if anybody has any information on it, feel free to leave a comment, and uh, I will continue to update you guys. Uh, right now it's raining, so I can't really have the barn doors open. Um, but, you know, tomorrow's another day and it's supposed to be sunny, so we'll, uh, I'll poke around on it tomorrow and see what we got. So, saying bye. All right, so we're stripping her down. We're just kind of surveying and seeing what we got, see what needs to be fixed. Just taking an overall glance of what we got and what we're getting into. Uh, really, the biggest thing is we don't know where we don't know where the dipstick is, but we're still looking. But whoever had this before tried to do some basic stuff. I don't even know why they would throw fuel filters on. Uh, threw some new spark plugs in there. Um, it's it, there's there's way too much, way too much to do before all that. So we're, we we remove the seat. We're going to try to move this floor pan, and there's a little gap there. So we're going to use the new. Matco dead blow. Uh, I figured, well, this is uh, the perfect time to to use it. So we're gonna try to bang it back and get this floor removed and see what's under there and continue moving forward. So give it a whack, John. It's a whole new meaning to a big fucking hammer. And it didn't budge. Oh. All right. Pry bar. And of course, we got the cat that's playing games with us. But I think it's that Zerk fitting, dude. And it doesn't look new. So that's our little shop. Our little shop helper. 
Why does everything have to fight us? We're just trying to get the roll cage off, but there's so many bangs and dings over the course of the years. Um, it's putting pressure on these legs here, and we can't even can't even bang it up with a sledgehammer. So we're kind of just working it with the pry bar. And uh, I think once we get that off, then we're gonna have full access to everything down in here and then we'll just continue moving forward so anyway it's a Ford CL40 and uh, that's uh, this winter's project all right guys it's getting late so we fought we got the top off so the next thing we wanted to do was to make sure the engine wasn't locked up well we found where the dipstick went it's obviously it's missing so there's always there's always thoughts that run through your mind um, as to why it got put up and, and never used again. So we uh, we took all the spark plugs out, which there were four uh, four different spark plugs in it. Um, they showed no signs of water or metal um, as it, you know if it locked up or whatever. So that was good. Uh, the harmonic balancer is missing. Um, so that's kind of, I thought, well, maybe it locked up and it, and it sheared that off or whatever. Um, so we just put a socket on the, on the crankshaft bolt and it does turn over. So I guess we're making progress. And, uh, so I think we're going to call it for a night and this will be part one. Um, next we're going to try, I guess we're going to try to, I want to try to start it. At least, you know, even if we got to shoot something down the carb to at least get it to pop off. Um, but it's still, we got a long ways to go before before we can do that. So we got to get a shop tank and uh, it definitely smells old and varnishy. So, but for now, I think we made pretty good progress. And, uh, you know, things are looking up. So it's not going to happen overnight. There's definitely been a lot of uh, patchwork on this thing, but that's to be expected. Um, so that's what happens. Farmers, farmers fix their stuff. And um, this guy, he was no welder, but he had a welder. So it is what it is. And uh, main thing is, it's trying to get this thing up and going. And uh, once we can hear this thing run, everything else is uh, repairable or fixable at that point. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it for tonight. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow for part two.